Which players are you guys most excited to meet? For autistic fans like Amy and Xavier, a day at the football is far from straightforward. The sights and sounds of a match day are akin to an assault on the senses, which can trigger a meltdown. But now, thanks to the adjustments made by Cambridge United, they're able to go to games. Amy and Xavier were chosen as mascots for the club's level playing field day, a day to celebrate disabled supporters. Thank you. Better win today. After meeting their heroes pre-match, they'd soon be lining up alongside them in the tunnel, but not before they were given a pair of these. You guys will have to put your ear defenders on in the tunnel. These ear defenders help to block out the noise, which can be overwhelming. And Amy and Xavier weren't the only ones wearing them. Are you, are you all right? How are you doing? Captains Paul Digby and George Dobson donned the headphones as well. Come around here then. A powerful demonstration of inclusivity and solidarity. Two points for safety. Cambridge United's lack of goals and lack of wins has really caught up with them. One win in 13 in 2023. Is this what it feels like to be a famous footballer? Yeah, I know, right? And Max Aki cutting into the box. It's perfect cross and it's 1 0. <laughs> and it's Miles Lieber. Raksaki. <laughs> it's just very easy for Charlton Athletic to make it 2 0. And hooked home by Lloyd Jones. Well, it's no more than Cambridge United deserve. There is the final whistle. A defeat, but how was how your day? Did you really enjoy it? Yeah, yeah great. And what was that moment like when you were in the tunnel with the captain? It's amazing, wasn't great. it? Yeah. But you felt like you were actually one of those football players. The headphones is to yeah. show the... Show that football's for everyone, especially yeah. these people, normal people, any kind of people. Thank you.